Hello everyone. Welcome to the next video on Converter Transformer. Myself Ganesh from KKWAG Institute of Engineering Education and Research Nashik welcomes you in the next video. The content of today's video is requirements of the converter transformer, choice of converter transformer, connection of converter transformer, main components, rating of converter transformer, comparison with power transformer. The learning outcome of today's session is at the end of this session, the learner will be able to identify the requirements of the converter transformer, choose the correct transformer type based on the requirements, connect the three single phase two winding transformer to the converter, elaborate the components of converter transformer and lastly the compare the converter and power transformer. So let's begin with what are the requirements of the converter transformer. If you want to design any converter transformer, what is its requirement? The first most requirement is supply of AC voltage into two separate circuit, feeding the rectifier bridge with phase shift of 30 degree electrical for a reduction of lower order, order harmonics, that is especially fifth and seventh harmonics. If you want to reduce the fifth and seventh harmonics, uh, the secondary winding is divided into two parts and the EMF induced in the first part. So you can see here uh, there is one primary winding and there are two secondary winding. The EMF induced in the first part is having the zero degree phase shift with the primary winding whereas EMF induced in the secondary part is having the 30 degree phase shift. And here the output of both three phase converter are together, connected together. This is a six pulse converter. This is a six pulse converter. Together it will form a 12 pulse converter. So it will give you the DC output voltage over here. So requirement is that first winding will supply the uh, zero degree phase shift and second winding will supply the 30 degree phase shift. As galvanic barrier between AC and DC system to prevent the DC potential entering into the AC system. So if we connect directly AC to the converter, it will introduce, uh, it will inter it will not give the galvanic uh, isolation between AC and DC. So that uh, the noise signals and uh, everything will be easily get introduced into the AC supply and also the harmonics will be greater. So this converter transformer will keep the isolation between them. A reactive power impedance in the AC supply to reduce the short circuit current. So here we, are, we, see, we can see the reactive impedance is increased. So as the reactive impedance is increased, the short circuit current is goes on decreasing. Hence, the rate of rise of uh, current in the uh, commutation process is also increases. What are the next requirement of the converter transformer? Here you can observe that there are these three phase uh, voltages which is connected to the star of the primary and secondary will have a star and delta connection. So star connection with the star have a zero degree phase shift and delta connection with the primary star will have a 30 degree phase shift. So here the connection is YY0 and here the connection is YD1 or YD11 depending upon the requirement and each output is connected to the six pulse converter. Six pulse converter means three, six thyristors are here and six thyristors are here and these are coupled together to get the DC output over here. So next requirement is that if you if you design the single unit of the three phase transformer, so three phase transformer with a single unit, then it will increases the weight. So dimension and weight uh, will put the restriction in the transportation. The number of necessary spare uh, transformer. Suppose if you use a single three phase transformer, then uh, it will require one uh, spare transformer of that size only, which requires the uh, which requires the uh, uh, which requires the uh, large size of transformer to be spare. But if, if you use a single phase three, uh, single phase two winding transformer three units, then one single unit is also sufficient for that. Technical possible solution for core and winding. So uh, there should be technical possible solutions for the core and winding is required uh, because uh, the rating of the converter transformer is high. Combined voltage stresses. Here there is not only AC voltage stresses. Ho uh, stress is due to the DC voltage also. So it, it should the insulation of the transformer should handle uh, insulation requirement of the transformer is that it should be must be withstand with the AC and DC voltage both. 
high harmonic content of the current so uh, here you can see the power electronic converter at this uh, at the secondary side of the transformer which introduces the high harmonics into the system so that harmonic content of the current must be handled the dc pre magnetization of the core so dc current you know that this is will convert the dc core so dc current over here this is constant dc obviously the primary will carry the square wave type of the current as the primary is carrying the square wave type of the current there may be possibility of the DC pre-magnetization current in the core. So, how to choose the converter transformer? Uh, there are four choices. One is the single phase to winding transformer. Let the weight of the single phase winding transformer is 100%. I am taking that the weight of the single winding transformer is 100%. So, this can be donated by there is one primary, there is one secondary. Both are supplied with the single phase supply. If you want the three phase, you can take the three units and you can connect the star, star and delta according to the requirement. The another possibility is single phase three winding transform. In single phase three winding transformer, we have a single phase prime, uh, we have a one primary winding and two secondary winding. All are connected to the single phase. So here you, you will get one phase, here you will get another, here you will get the sec secondary output one, secondary output two. Such three transformer can be connected together to, to form a star. And, uh, star 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 delta connection such three transformers we can take so three units of single phase three winding transformer will form a three phase unit uh, three phase two winding transformer so we can take the three phase two winding transformer but its weights will be 200 percent here uh, in the previous it weight is 160 percent as compared to the first case and single phase three winding uh, sorry it is not a single phase it is also three phase three phase three winding transformer in the three phase three winding transformer if you will take a single unit its weight is 360 percent of that so sorry here is not a single phase here it is a three phase three phase three winding the weight is 360 so it is observed that so if you want a three phase then you can use the single phase three winding transformer with 160 percent weight which will be the possible solution for this and again the number of requirement of the transformer is reduced here you will require for a 12 phase you will uh, require such how many transformers you will, you will require such six transformer whereas this this can be handled by here you will require a 12 transformer here you will require only six transformers six transformer is sufficient for that the connection of the converter transformer uh, if you see here, uh, I will show the connection on AC side. There is this is one winding A1, A1 dash, B1, B1 dash, C1, C1 dash. A1 dash, B1 dash, and C1 dash are connected together to form a star. A1, B1, C1 is connected to this AC supply. Uh, on a secondary side, there are two winding A2, A2 dash, A3, A3 dash, B2, B2 dash, B3, B3 dash, C2, C2 dash, C3, C3 dash. So you will observe that A2. B A2 dash, B2 dash and C2 dash are connected together to form a star connection. So it will form a star con connection and from A2, from B2 and from C2, you will get a one output that is connected to the three phase converter. So here the transformer in a second uh, second winding A2 uh, that is uh, suffix 2 uh, having a star connection whereas A3, B3 uh, A3, A3 dash, B3, B3 dash, C3, C3 dash is connected in delta. Here you can see A3 dash is connected to B3, B3 dash is connected to C3 and C3 dash is connected to A3 and output is taken from A3, B3 and C3. So it will give you, it is given to the three phase converter. So here the secondary will form a delta connection. So first will form a star, secondary will form a delta. The advantages of this delta connection is that zero sequence current is trapped into this, hence the tripling harmonics is automatically reduced to zero. So this is the connection. You can connect the three single winding transformer, uh, three, three, uh, three phase, uh, single phase two winding three transformer together to form a three phase circuit so this is the connection of a single single phase so here you can observe this is the primary side secondary side winding one secondary side winding two so this is single phase to three winding transformer in single phase three winding transformer the core with the two separate limbs for each phase the core quality of co core sheets uh, for covering all losses additional core cooling ducts and avoidance of the flux uh, pinching to reduce the dc pre-magnetization here the windings are concentric winding 
primary is tapped to change the voltage levels and designed to reduce the voltage stress and designed to reduce the winding losses also the bushings are made up with the composite insulating material so this this is what the bushings so bushings are made up with the composite material instead of the um, porcelain designed for 15% over voltage so it can handle the 15% over voltage bushings are designed so that it will form a delta and star easily inside the wall room so in the converter room it will form a star and delta easily what are the ratings of the converter transformer how to calculate kva rating of the transformer unit is given by root 3 into uh, voltage across a secondary that is secondary line voltage into idc so let us consider that i need a hudc line with plus minus 500 uh, kilo volt 1500 megawatt bipole power transfer so bipole power transfer means one pole will transfer 750 megawatt so 750 divided by voltage is a 500 so it will give you 1.5 kilo ampere current so line voltage required to get the 500 kV DC so if you want to 500 kV DC output so secondary voltage requirement is 1500 pi into 3 root 2 so it's equal to the 370 kV so the kv rating of the transformer unit is equal to root 3 into 370 into 1.5 it will give you 961 mva this is the uh, this is the rating of entire unit for a single phase transformer the rating of the single phase transformer is 961 upon 3 320 mva so you will require such a six transformer that is for one six plus and for another six plus so we will such six transformers you will require in, uh, to convert the ac into hvdc ac supply into hvdc supply let's compare the converter and power transformer the converter transformer is used to convert the ac to dc using the rectifier uh, whereas power transform is used to step up and step down the voltage a converter transform with, must be withstand with ac dc over voltage stress whereas power transform must with uh, whereas power transformer must be withstand with ac voltage stresses only uh, converter transformer must be able to handle the harmonic current without additional losses uh, uh, power transformer have to handle only the balanced three phase fundamental current so converter transformer three units of the single phase two winding transformer can be used here single transformer three three phase three winding can be used the application of the converter transform is hvdc v by f drive power electronic converter whereas the applications of the power transformer is transmission and distribution of the ac supply so with this we are at the end of the video thank you